The basic design of content delivery networks is such that it is meant to be scalable. For large number of users, the CDN can expand and for decreasing number of customers as uh, the need requires, as the requirements grow or shrink, correspondingly, the users pay what they use. But in certain situations, there is a spontaneous or sudden change in demand. It's known as an upsurge. This is called flash crowd in terms of um, usage. It was a term that was coined back in 70s. So we are going to look at how um, content delivery networks through their internal dynamism respond to such flash crowds. Uh, we'll talk about some interesting uh, case studies uh, from the recent internet experience. We'll identify the challenges, some potential uh, solutions, the alternatives, and then we'll focus on uh, flash uh, crowd elevation network based architecture. What are flash crowds? Flash crowds actually are the spontaneous gathering or collection of users which come close to an object of interest. This is triggered in such a short manner and goes away very quickly as well. But this upsurge has to be catered for. The users start perceiving poor quality of service and from the network centric perspective, the servers are unable to handle a very large number of requests. There are some examples from history. Uh, for example, when the Red Hat Linux image distribution was announced, the website offering that got overwhelmed. Similarly, the uh, examples are Play Along TV show. It was streamed back in 2000 and again it got bogged down with an increasing sudden interest of users who visited the site and b brought it down. The Chilean presidential elections of 1999, the live eclipse, the solar eclipse or I guess it was lunar eclipse back in 2005 and the, um, the CNN broadcasting of the images of 911 where the Twin Towers were brought down. It was live broadcast. So these are the examples where the flash crowds are created on the fly. Uh, there is something known as slash dot net effect as well. Um, slash dot net is a very well known website that uh, uh, discusses or uh, brings into um, notice some emerging technology trends, some new uh, advancements uh, or some celebrities um, in the kind of uh, Hall of Fame manner. So this slash .net, uh, uh, website, when it refers to another web server or a website, uh, that website uh, gets so much of attention that it, it cannot handle. Whereas slash .net has a pretty robust infrastructure. So the demand has to be met. It cannot simply be denied there are certain challenges. For instance, how to organize the temporary overlay of uh, the servers. These are simply known as the surrogate servers, which are uh, proxying on behalf of the original web server. But it has to be very quick, efficient. Uh, there should be a very marvelous cooperation mechanism amongst these uh, surrogate servers. And as soon as the flash crowd goes away, it disperses, then uh, the situation has to get back to normal and all these over provisioned resources have to be relieved. So how can it be done in a very small overhead and minimum possible time? Then even a fundamental question arises, how to detect flash crowds and how to detect if it has now departed. For that, some kind of prediction mechanism or interpolation or probably um, 
extrapolation has to be uh, taken into consideration. And last but not the least, the clients which visit the website which is uh, flash crowded or slashed for that matter, uh, how to make it very um, seamless and transparent for the um, clients. Let's look at some uh, possible ways uh, which are very intuitive alternatives. The first one is server layer solution, that is increase the number of servers. So the surrogates or the active proxies um, take over uh, and then there are some backups known as delegates. Uh, so this server based uh, solution is of course a uh, server intensive. It is not taking any support from smart algorithmic usage or distribution of the content which is being accessed. This is an example uh, paper known as dot slash. What happens is uh, some kind of mutual, mutually benefiting community um, takes on the task of uh, supporting each other in the wake of seeing flash crowd. So it means that uh, the uh, web server community joins uh, hands together. There, there is a catch though. Uh, for instance, uh, to be exact, if there is a um, flash cloud, a flash crowd, that flash crowd has to be now um, managed principally through redirection. This redirection has to take place at the origin server. So it means the origin server eventually is the bottleneck. It is simply not a uh, purely decentralized approach. Then we have the intermediate layer solution. Uh, when we call it intermediate, it means farther from the server, closer to the uh, clients or the users. So the first thing that uh, can be done is identify how and where the content is best replicated and replaced. For that, multi-level caching is one good idea. Then uh, there is a research paper known as backslash. Uh, here, some pre-mirrored proxies are used which do not replicate 100% content to be shared with the uh, users, but replicate part of it. And this has to uh, be done very smartly. Uh, so this offloads the uh, central centralized approach by distributing it across the um, caches of some servers uh, across the uh, CDN community. Uh, the third and the lowest or the closest to the client is the client layer solution. What happens is uh, through the mediation of uh, the original web server which is suffering from flash uh, crowd, some client cooperation is initiated and the clients form a peer-to-peer -peer overlay network. Uh, so uh, the clients are redirected to uh, those clients which have just recently downloaded the object. It's a very typical uh, BitTorrent kind of working. Um, visually, you can see starting from the left, the server-based approach, the server layer. Um, the clients are banking on the uh, surrogate and delegate servers. Then the intermediate layer is where the clients are not actually burdening the server as such, rather some kind of caching mechanism and content and object replacement is taking place. And then uh, the uh, most efficient and extremely distributed is the client layer based approach where a pure peer-to-peer -peer architecture offloads the burden totally from the shoulders of the central server. Now, the uh, architecture which has been proposed in uh, Rajkumar Bahia is uh, for the um, uh, alleviation of the flash, flash clouds, the FCAN architecture. Here, um, as you can see, the clients are aware of the presence of certain cache. Under normal circumstances, these cache proxies uh, 
which can be approached by resolving using DNS uh, name resolution capability. These clients are just uh, accessing the con content directly from the uh, origin server. But when the flash crowd starts to build and it does not build in, in, in a jiffy or in a very short uh, time, rather it might take a while, say 10 to 15 minutes. So for the uh, flash crowd to appear, now the uh, clients would refer to the DNS because they would start getting relatively uh, slow service. Now the origin server takes into account the response that it is giving to the clients, involves the clients to avail the DNS service for accessing the cache proxies. And uh, under a fully loaded situation, uh, a very large number, rather, all the cashier proxies are now being used to uh, uh, relieve the burden of the origin server. In order to now comprehend how this um, architecture works, where the flash crowd uh, are elevated through the involvement of uh, proxies, the entire process can be understood uh, through the interaction between the server, the initial set of proxies, and the additional proxies which are required as the flash crowd becomes intense. Um, so the server starts off as a normal server. When it detects that there's a flash crowd, it starts probing the proxies which respond to the server and uh, updates the presence of these proxies in its DNS records and then switches the proxies. The proxies are now uh, delegated the task to act as surrogates and uh, they start functioning. But over time, the proxies also get overburdened because of increasing load. Uh, the server now checks the logs which are collected from the uh, surrogates and probes for further uh, proxies. The uh, proxies which are the additional proxies which were not part of the initial set respond to the server, the DNS records are updated, and then the proxies are switched to act as surrogates. This process keeps on repeating itself um, for as long as the flash crowd keeps uh, growing. And when it starts going away or uh, uh, departing, correspondingly, the number of proxies uh, handling the situation uh, are reduced in number. This is again taken from uh, Content Delivery Networks by Rajkumar Bhaiya.